We are following breaking news out of Port Huron this morning where police have been on the scene of a barricaded situation for hours now. Yeah, that's right. Megan Woods is live this morning. Megan, we know this started about 7 o'clock last night and things aren't getting any better. It is a very active scene. We're learning more about what Port Huron police and some of the other crews out here are doing to uh, resolve this peacefully. You see there is a large police presence. We see Port Huron police, uh, Port Huron fire, MSP. We see tactical vehicles and uh, just moments uh, moments ago we heard what sounded like flashbangs. So it, it's a lot going on. We're keeping a safe distance. There's roads blocked off in the area. This is the area of 12th and Chestnut. Um, uh, police are asking for people who live in this area near 12th and Chestnut to shelter in place. They're also asking people who live in the area to not open their doors or windows because this person has fired rounds outside of the home and has access to several weapons. Police are also saying that last night and this morning they released a gas irritant into the home and that can also flow into uh, people's windows and doors. So again, Again, keeping those windows and doors shut if you live nearby. This all started when a man barricaded himself inside his home after shooting several rounds out of his home again last night. First responders have been out here since around 7 last night and it is going on 14 hours here. Very active scene. Um, so again, if you live in the area, stay away, stay in your home. Roads are blocked off if you usually come through this area for your morning commute. They're working to resolve this peacefully, but it's it's taken hours. So we're keeping our distance out here. Um, but as for right now, live in Port Huron, Megan Woods, Local 4.